What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. You guys are in for a treat today. I was literally sitting in the hotel room here in Kelowna. My buddy Ryan just messaged and said, hey, come over, check out the cars. You're in for a treat, you're not gonna wanna miss this. Let's head out right now. Now I know you're probably asking yourself, what can we expect to see at Ryan's? You might not be actually asking yourself that. Ryan has arguably the nicest Lamborghini collection in the area. I know for sure he's got an old school Diablo. DMX drove in on, uh, you know, drop me a comment. I can't remember the name of the movie. Silver Diablo, you'll, you'll understand when you see it. And he's got a really beautiful uh, Mercy Lago SV, which is worth about $1.5 million. He's got a lot, lot of cars, so we're gonna go check him out. I'm excited, you can tell, because I love supercars. Let's hit the road. All right, guys, we are here. Ryan has, like I say, arguably, in Canada, the best Lamborghini collection, for sure in this area. But uh, let's see what we can do. And I'm gonna tag you guys, you guys check them out for sure. Hello, how are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Welcome hey. to the Okanagan. Thanks, man. I told these guys we could check out some uh, cool Lamborghinis. Yeah, bump it. Welcome to Lamborghini Kelowna. See, I was gonna say it, but I didn't know if I should say Lamborghini Kelowna. Why not? I don't know. It's not like it's uh, copyrighted or anything. No, I haven't no. got a cease and desist yet. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. What kind of cars you got here right now? Well, you were just at August, right? I was at August. Yeah, yeah. so uh, half the fleet is there for sale. Okay. Uh, we just sold the Yelpa, we sold the Urus, we sold the Giardo. Paige's Giardo. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then what else? We got the Silver Diablo Roadsters for sale there. We've got uh, the Red Yurako is going for sale pretty quick. The White Espada is for sale. And I think that's it. We're not gonna have any cars left when we're all you're all done. I just just you just wait. <laughs> just wait. I, we, we, we got, I got a couple cars in here. All right, so. let's check it out. Oh, I see something sitting right there. So, so this I actually saw you driving this the other day. Oh, did you really? Yeah, I don't know if you saw me. Obviously, you didn't. If you didn't see that, uh, yeah, I probably did. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is the Lamborghini truck. So this is the OG uh, SUV from back in the day. And Lambo only built like just over 300. V12 Kutosh motor. And it's, yeah, it's pretty epic actually. So would this be like the Urus today? Yeah, yeah, kind exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The Urus is kind of the new version of what this is. Okay. Other than this had the flagship motor. This had the V12 motor, where the Urus now uh, doesn't even have a V10. It's right. V8, right? V8 so. turbo. Yeah, same as my RS6. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's basically an Audi with a reskin body on yeah. it. So That looks cooler, though. Yeah. But yeah, no, very cool. Yeah, super rad. This is actually originally uh, delivered to Japan. Okay. So on the headrest, I think we did this one of the DD videos. On the headrest, uh, it actually, uh, or the visor, right. it actually shows like all the Japanese writing. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's Steve POV here who can read uh, Japanese. Okay. And he tried to read all that and he was like, oh, it's just a bunch of warnings. And oh, whatnot. really? Yeah. But it's kind of cool that he was here. You could like check it out and whatnot. So. This is so cool. And what year is it? It's uh, this one's 1987. Wow. It's actually the 30th one they ever built. 30th. 30th that's, one they that's ever a built. Small number. And it is the only one that Lamborghini produced in this color green. Really? They produced. So this isn't aftermarket. No, it's not aftermarket. This wow. is uh, original green from Lambo. They produced four in green, uh, two in one shade, one in a one-off color, and this is. Uh, the other one in a one-off color. Wow. So really, really rare. Very cool. So this is busy. What's happening over here? So this is a, a V12 Countach motor, about 450 horsepower. Um, but it's got a, a, a double set of filter systems. So th these are the pre-cleaners. So the, it was built for the, like, the Saudi desert kind of thing. So okay. when uh, you're four by fouring in the sand, uh, you're gonna get a lot of sand in the motor. So the sand actually gets into these pre-cleaners and there's these little centrifugal um, like fan blades almost in there. So okay. it'll collect the sand and the air then is able to go into this black box, which has actually got um, another set of filters in it. So uh, it's a way to be able to drive through the desert and still get clean air into the engine. That's amazing. Yeah, super cool. And you were saying this was originally built for the military. Yeah, they. Um, it was kind of designed with uh, 
it's an MTI in the US and Lamborghini. Lamborghini kind of stole the design um, with the original Cheetah and then they had their other designs that they had and then the, this was number two. This is the second design that okay. actually made it uh, as a production vehicle. But they tried to get the, uh, the contract for the US military which ended up uh, picking the H1 instead. Okay. So then they're left, they're like, well, what do we do? So they tried the Saudi army. I think they sold some to them. There's no real um, answers online. It's right. hard to find real information about these. Yeah. But then they said, well, let's just uh, throw a leather interior in it and sell it to the public. So cool. they, that's where they- Similar to the H1 though, like when they civilianized it. Yeah, right? exactly. Yep, yeah, exactly. But just no real military history. Right. Um, other than like Saddam Hussein had one and the US oh. Army blew it up. Well, that's interesting. So, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Google that. You can see it blown up online. Oh, yeah. My kid will definitely check it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool, what else you got in here? Uh, well, let's move this way first. Okay. We own about, I think, five G-Wagons right now. Okay. This is one of the rarest ones we have here. It is uh, was never sold to the North American market. It is a power folding top cabrio, and it's a short wheelbase, so it's only a two-door. So extremely rare in North America, uh, very rare overall. They didn't make a lot of these folding power tops. Um, but yeah, this is our matte black baby G. This is that's crazy because when I bumped into you this afternoon, I would have never guessed that's a power top. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. we saw each other today, and I was driving this guy. Yeah, I never would have thought. Threw the top down, and yeah. yeah. Wow, very cool. Diablos, Huracan, what's that called again? Uh, LM002. LM002? Yep. And then the Baby G. Baby G back there, and yep. then all the way over here is the uh, <gasps> Dodge so, Viper. The first gen Viper? First gen, 1994. My dad bought it brand new, and it's got uh, just under 19,000 kilometers on the Odo. Oh, man. So it's, uh, yeah, it's just been in the family forever, and it's now in my car, so. These things respond well to turbos. We should turbo it. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no. bone stock. Yeah, leave it alone. Uh, it probably needs some tires, but I actually took this to grad. So oh, really? I, yeah, I took it to grad. My sister, Char, she took it to grad as well, so. Oh, very cool, yeah. very cool. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, you don't see the first gen too often. I drove oh. the, actually I took a friend in uh, the second gen that August has, the silver one. Oh yeah. The video's coming out right away. Oh, sweet. And it's like, hey, what did you think of the Viper? First Viper experience, what'd you think? Trash. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, but he just also got it on Matt August's Urus, so. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. a bit different, but I yeah, told him. there's no door handles, there's no proper no. windows. These are, these are full race car. No traction control. No it's, cup holders, no ideas. Yeah. It's fun to drive, Yeah, so. yeah, they're yeah. fun. All yeah. right, to the next car. The next car, what else do you got? Okay, so next up, who cares what Dodge is? Well, actually, shoot, <laughs> there may be a lot of people on your channel that like They Dodge. might like Dodge, I don't know. Like, I'm a Lambo yeah. guy, so. Yeah, I, I, like, I respect the Viper for what it is, but it's a Dodge product. Yeah, so. yeah, 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 everything falls apart. Yeah. Um, Pretty well. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, Lamborghini Silhouette. Silhouette. So this is the Silhouette. Uh, most people have never heard of this because they only made 52 cars. It is Lamborghini's very first Targa Top car that they've ever produced. Really? And it's actually a V8. A V8? Yeah, it's a V8. So this was Lamborghini made three different V8s back in the day. Uh, the Uraco, the Silhouette, and the Yelpa. I've owned all three, and this is the one that I'm keeping in the collection because it's the super rarest one out of all of them. And yeah, it's absolutely beautiful in yellow, well, I, I think. What was your white car that's for sale at August right now? 
Uh, well, the Yelp I just sold. The Yelp one kind of looks like this. Yeah, it's similar, but yeah. Yeah, very similar. Uh, it's kind of like a newer version of this. Okay. And it just sold to a guy that actually is a sake connoisseur. He's a, like a uh, sommelier in the sake world. Okay. And he lives in New Brunswick. So okay. that car is now in New Brunswick okay. and he's driving around and loving it. Very cool. Yeah, so, that was a cool car. Yeah. This is really neat. What year is this? This is, uh, what year is this one? It is, uh, got too many cars. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's in the 70s somewhere. I think it's yeah. 77. I was saying, well, 75, halfway. Yeah, shoot. Yeah, yeah I yeah. don't think it's a 75. It's around there, 77, 78, something like that, I think. I don't yeah. know. And how somebody, would you like, somebody online will, will somebody's gonna know, yeah. yeah. Would you like to cue the slow mo montage? Slow mo <laughs> montage of this beautiful interior. And next. All right, so this is the one that everyone wants to see, the most right. people on your channel want right. to see, and it's the Mercy SV. Uh, one of, well, actually it's not 186 in the world. They've now found roughly 250 of these built by Lamborghini. Okay. It's a numbered car, but not in sequence. But it is the one that everybody is like, Ryan, why are you selling this car? Right. And it's it's a million dollar unicorn now. As so. I say, why are you selling it? Because it's one point five million dollars. Yeah, it's one point five million Canadian or one point one five US right now, right. which is it's the cheapest Mercy SV for sale in North America, other than Ed Bullion's uh, rebuilt title. Car. Okay. Yeah, his yeah. is cheaper than mine, but mine. But it's is, also a rebuilt title. Yeah, his is rebuilt. So, yeah. uh, so here it is. It is for sale. Uh, my idea is, if I sell this car, I will have all that money, and I will just buy a, a Mercy Roadster Ooh. that I can actually drive because yeah. this car has got nineteen thousand five hundred k on right. it, and. For collector status, you don't really want it to go over 20,000 kilometers. Okay. That's roughly 12,000 miles. Right. So I got to keep the miles down. And I'm not the kind of guy that wants to have a car and not drive it. Right. So <laughs> the next car is going to be the same. <laughs> uh, but so this one is for sale. And yeah, it'll be replaced by a Mercy Roadster if it sells. So, so Leah, it's for sale. We're going to sell our home for 1.2 Canadian. You're going to have to work extra so we can pay Ryan the 300,000 <laughs> to buy this. So. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, we're close. We're close. Right, yeah. It's yeah, good, deal. <laughs> good, good to go, yeah. Yeah, you can live in it. Right, yeah. It's got sport comfort seats. Right, comfortably live yeah, in it, yeah. They're, they're very comfortable. <laughs> Much more than the sport seats. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> All right, montage. All right, time for the cream of the crop. But first, okay. I got two surprises for you, and this is surprise number one. Okay. Okay, what size shirt do you wear? Do I wear? Yeah. A uh, large? Perfect. Right here, buddy. Oh, man. You can't come to Lamborghini Kelowna and not get your very own- We're gonna own... be like twins. This is gonna be fantastic. Yeah, you had a blue Aventador. Right. I had a blue Aventador. So right. we can just cry about our blue Aventadors <laughs> that we don't have anymore. Well, I'm gonna have to give you a shirt like mine. Yeah, oh, that'd be amazing. Awesome. Yeah, and I, I think these it. ones, do they say it? Do they say it? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hashtag right Lamborghini Kelowna. <laughs> I love it. Sweet, so that's all for you. I appreciate but it, thank you. this car is, it's not the, the car from Wolf of Wall Street, but it's the same car in Wolf of Wall Street. Right. So Jordan Belfort did not do cocaine in this car no. <laughs> or uh, Leo Di uh, DiCaprio. Right. But this car, super special to me. I've always loved the Countach. To me, of my for my age, it's the poster car on the wall. Some people, it's the Diablo, but right. for me, it's the Countach. And 25th anniversary, I absolutely love it. Horacio Pagani designed it. He worked for Lamborghini back then. Uh, so it's got all the airstrikes all over it. What I love about this car, this is my third Countach that I've owned, but this one has less than 5,000 kilometers Five. on it. You know why? Because they're terrible to drive. 
They are terrible <laughs> to drive. I want to say it. They're rewarding to drive. Right. But uh, you would have a very difficult time driving this car. Yeah. Your your frame, you're way too big. So this is like a five five hundred and thirty pound kind of person. Yeah, yeah. This is like the wife could drive this. My wife's if like, she's got a really strong uh, calf muscle. Yeah, my wife's five ten and like one fifty. So. Uh, yeah, 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 well, she'll, <laughs> she'll get in there, yeah. but, uh, yeah, I absolutely love this car. This car will never be for sale as long as I own it. Maybe, yeah. you know, my little daughter Mirabella, right. she may sell it one day, but for me, uh, it stays in the collection and it also has super rare seats in it. This car has the sport seats that, uh, they only made about 50 sets of these wow. for the Countach. So, uh, and they're, they're white, of course, because it's white course. on white. Right, so, amazing. Yeah, so let's get... uh, cue the montage. All right, what's next? All right, so I told you we had two surprises. Right. And the second surprise is actually, well actually it's kind of three surprises. But the second surprise <laughs> is we bought a brand new car and YouTube knows nothing about it. Nope. Social media knows nothing about it. We've made no posts, I don't think. But um, yeah, you're gonna be the first to see. One pump. So let's uh, go out the door and Paige is gonna drive the car over to us. Let's go check it out. <laughs> nice band-aid! Nice band-aid, Mirabella! <laughs> so cute. So this, Ryan? So this is our brand new Bentley. This is your Dodge Caravan. This is, yeah, this is our version of a minivan for our little family here. <laughs> so it's got a convertible top, it's a four-seater, you can fit child seats in the back, which uh, you can see right there. There's, There's the all the room in the world. Right back there. All the room in the world there. And this is our little daughter, Mirabella. Say hi. Hi. Can you guys say hi? Hi. Hi. Is it hot? What are, what are you named after, Mira? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you blew a shoe, kid. TikTok. <laughs> oh, TikTok. It's a TikTok. TikTok. It's, it's a TikTok. A TikTok. Yeah, TikTok. I love it. <laughs> so we've got actually, so I, I told you we had two things we need to tell you. Yeah. We actually have a third. This is a secret that we've been holding. And the reason why we bought this uh, minivan here is because it's not just me, Mirabella, and Paige. It's actually one more. <laughs> so we're uh, proud to announce that uh, the little uh, Rye Phipps family is growing to four. Well, congratulations. Oh, thanks, Thank buddy. You. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Nice band-aid. Well, kids yeah, are like that. Kids are like, this yourself. is mine, not yours. Yeah. yeah. I know. Well, this is mommy's car, apparently. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So come back here. You'll see this is mommy's car. Oh, it's got her name on the license plate. Exactly. This is uh what do they call it? Uh, a push present? Yes. Is that what yeah, they call yeah, it? yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you got yeah. three kids, you know. Oh yeah, for sure. And I mean I've bought my wife fishing or fishing rods before for Mother's Day. So You can do that? No, you cannot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like here's a fishing rod, I don't want it. Well, I'll keep it. I can't. What take about it off. like can you give them like cooking utensils or something? Yeah, maybe something like no. that. Yeah. <laughs> no vacuums, no cleaning. Yeah, so uh montage the Bentley. <laughs> She's got it. She's got it. Okay. You gonna drive the car? Hold the wheel. Okay, you drive it. Come on, punch it. You go. Go, baby, go. Do donuts. <laughs> Come on, do a donut. Do a donut. Go, go, go. Go down. Oh, wow. Look how fast you're going. Oh, don't hit Steve's car! Don't do it. You ready? 
Yeah, cool. yeah. let's go. Well guys, thanks for having me. Yeah, it was a pleasure having you come over and visit Lamborghini Kelowna yeah, and of course. you know, meet us. And yeah, of course, huge congratulations out. to you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for the swag, I love of course. the new shirt. Ditto. Yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. Well, uh, we'll have to go for a drive next. Yeah, absolutely, let's do it. And uh, bye. You're Bella, you, you say, say bye. 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 So see you later. See you later. Nah, it's adorable.